Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today here at the Triple F Raceway in Ohio to put my AMG GT Black Series up against Jordan from the Triple F collection with his daily, the E63S, except neither car is standard. This E63S has a thousand horsepower and all wheel drive. My GT Black Series has been to Opus in Germany and runs 850 horsepower, but of course rear driven and today is freezing. It is just above freezing temps here in Ohio today. And while well, getting grip off the line is a little bit difficult if you're rear wheel drive. So I don't know exactly which way this is going to go, but we're going to have a quick intro to both cars, run around them to compare some of the facts and figures and numbers before it's going to be time to test it out with Jordan to see which is going to win down the strip here at the Triple F Raceway. <laughs> It looks like a lovely day, but it is freezing and I apologize for the wind noise, but the quarter mile is laid out here at the Triple F Raceway Strip. And we've got two fascinating cars up against one another. And at this stage, I don't entirely know which one is going to come out on top. It remains to be seen in a moment. The ultimate track AMG and Jordan's daily driver, the Super Saloon E63S up against my AMG GT Black Series. Let's have a very quick run through of the cars because they are very different, but still in some ways quite similar. The GT Black Series is of course my car from the UK, hence the plates and being right-hand drive. It's been on a bit of a global tour all around Europe, out to the Middle East and 12,000 miles so far here in the United States, which I think makes this one of, if not the highest mileage customer owned GT Black Series in the world. We have 850 horsepower in here, but we have a thousand horsepower in the E63S. The 2019 pre-facelift, the car that when it launched had that very clever formatic plus system that you could switch to being just rear wheel drive should you prefer, but it's obviously going to be in all wheel drive for the drag races today. In here, we've got the four liter bi-turbo V8. In fact, both cars have the four liter bi-turbo V8, but in here, the flat plane crank, it's mounted front mid just behind the front axle and in stock form would be 730 horsepower. Mine with the exhaust and tune is up to about 850, but all of that power goes to the rear wheels through a seven speed dual clutch transmission. Both cars have race starts, but this car is actually hindered in a drag race by the crazy amount of aero. Things like a wing that big on the back of the car do actually create drag when you're traveling in a straight line. A car more at home on the racetrack, but a car that's obviously significantly lighter despite being slightly down on power. The E63S on the other hand has the nine speed auto 9g transmission from amg we again have a launch control option in the car and we have a thousand horsepower thanks to new turbos coolers software and upgrades the standard car would be running 632 so we're talking nearly 400 horsepower more in this e63s let's very quickly take a look at the engine bays of these cars in fact inside we have all of the creature comforts and luxuries that you would expect from a flagship Mercedes AMG car based on the E-Class, but of course dialed up a lot in here. We have a catch just off to the side. It's a hot V turbo sit inside the V, but the engine, of course, right up over the front. Not necessarily the most ideal for the drag strip racing. In the GT Black Series, it's a different catch, actually. You have to pull it twice, a little bit more akin to the BMWs, which is to do with the coolers that this car has. So a double pull of the catch, and we can open up the huge carbon fiber bonnet that we have on here. And you can see all of the additional radiators. The engine sits way back inside the engine bay. But at the moment, as I said, I don't know which way this is going to go. Let's grab Jordan, have a little chat about the two cars and then get them started. A couple of test runs before we have a series of drag races back to back, the GT Black Series against the E63S. Hey Jordan. How you doing, man? All good, all good and intrigued by this. Which way is it gonna go? Gosh, man. With this being modded, I think I'm going to get out of, the, out of the hole a little bit better. I would say, if I had to guess at this stage, what's going to happen is that you will launch harder because you've got all-wheel drive and you've got more power. Both cars are modded, but you are running 150 horsepower more. But what's going to be fascinating to see is will that catch up before we get to the quarter mile? I have no idea. I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm hoping <laughs> I, take, I take the win, honestly. We're going to do a couple of races. We'll do three races just in case they don't want to do best of three, because if you win the first two, I need a third one to redeem <laughs> myself. Sure. I've For got sure. to work out the race start, the launch control in the GT Black, but we've got a straight run in front of us. We've got two fascinating, but very different AMGs. This is literally your daily. It is, absolutely. I take this over just about anything every day. You have a thousand horsepower in your A thousand daily. horsepower, you know, just in case I come across a GT Black Series. And you need to race. You and never I need know. to race it. How many miles have you done with this? Oh, uh, about 25,000. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, I think we should gear up. 
get the cars ready. I'm excited, man. Let's do it. Rig the cameras, go have a race. Let's have a loud start. Hold the paddle. Oh yes, this thing means business. Now I'm going for a quick run in advance of the races because I need to get to the bottom of the race start. You can adjust the RPMs and I need to lower them slightly because otherwise I am not getting any grip, any traction today. So we will go and just get into the feel of this, warm it up ever so slightly. We need to get both cars up to temps, ready to drop it like it's hot and give them a little run head to head against one another here on the drag strip. So we're currently in comfort mode. Obviously for the runs, we're gonna turn that up. Sport, Sport Plus, you can hear it dropping the gears and race ready to completely rock and roll. We'll be in automatic. Obviously in here, we've got the sound generator. And I talk about this all the time. It's so loud inside the cabin with the speaker sound that you have. Obviously this car is a whole lot louder than the standard car to begin with. Now when it comes to doing a drag race, you actually want the car in a softer suspension setup. So I'm also gonna press that out of Sport Plus. But like I say, when we've got this a little bit warmer, I need to figure out this setting and turn down how aggressively it revs because it is currently set to 5,000 or so, which is just way too much for a launch when it's as chilly as it is today. It's actually warmed up a fair bit this afternoon. This sounds so good, so ready to race that E. I know he's going to be off the line faster. We're going to be in the left lane. I'll be watching him pulling away until hopefully we reel him in over my shoulder. That is indeed the intention from this. So let me just spin this around and uh, make sure we're back in drive. There we go. Make sure we're in the softer suspension in comfort. We are in race auto comfort. We've got the nine stage AMG traction control. So let's turn this all the way. I think maybe one down from the end. Now in theory, if I do a race start, I can pull the paddles and lower the RPM. So let me try this. That's not engaged race start. That's not a full race start. Here we go, down on the pedal. Yes, there we go, you can pull the paddle down. 4,000, okay, right, I've got it, 4,000 RPM. Here we go, let's try this. Pull it all the way down and go. Okay, that was better. The way it just cracks. And we get a move on. Okay, this thing is fast. We know that it's very, 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 very fast. But how's this gonna go as a race? That I can't tell you yet. Let's go back to the start line and get ready. Right, this means business. Let us gear up. Everything's still in the correct settings. I've got traction fully off now. So I'm all good to go. Jordan is alongside me. This is war, people. So into drive. Give my thumbs up, close the passenger window. I'm ready when they're ready. Okay. Revs, lower the revs. Go. Oh, I bogged, I bogged. Can I catch him? down like that oh man so it's all about the launch if I can get off the line then it's gonna be easy peasy plain sailing but I've watched him just walk away from me there completely gone no chance hopefully we can get a bit more heat into the rear tires maybe I should go and be a little bit cheeky just for a moment and heat them up see if I can try that. Okay, this is where we need to make sure this thing's got some warm rear tires. Maybe cheating slightly. Right. We're warmed and ready to rock and roll. Race number two. With traction basically fully off, that was so bad. So I'm gonna put it in sport handling mode. 
and see if I have some better luck with this. Driver's ready. So let's see. Run number two. Ready. All right. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Oh, there we go. We've got a bit. He's away. I've got traction now fully kicking in. second race we're going to try a last go but this car just bogs down too much with traction then we'll probably give it a roll race so I do think it was better fully off but the question is how fully off because there are multiple settings with this I think like there watching 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 There we go. Okay, so we can lower the RPM by pulling the downshift paddle. That obviously helps a bit, but I need more. I need more grip and I don't get it off the line. This car is not built for being okay, a launching drivers car. Ready. Drivers are ready. We'll give a thumbs up. Hopefully he can see that. Let's uh, see what we can do. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm off the line better. But I can't do it. I can't do it off the line. Every time the same. Warped by the all-wheel drive. Absolutely walked by all-wheel drive. Man, that's frustrating. As soon as we're moving though, that's where this is like gonna absolutely whoop, I hope. Well, we'll see, we'll see, I don't actually know. Whatever you're ready, Tim. Okay. and go there we go on the roll oh yeah oh it just walks away it's walking away it's running away come back Tim okay that's where this walks away <laughs> I'm happier now <laughs> as expected once we're moving this pulls and pulls and pulls and no chance for the E. But to get on the move, I wonder how long you would need to actually overtake, to catch up and overtake after that launch. That was kind of what we expected, but we're definitely gonna do it again. Okay, one down, and I've got a little bit better of an idea of what we're actually doing here. It's actually quite hard to line up at the right speed because you're watching the speed and you're watching everything and where the cones are and all of that. Make sure you're in the right gear, manual on this, of course, to hold it in second gear. Um, and then you've got to punch it and go. So, ready to go? Right, let's get second gear up to 40 and go. Oh, I missed the shift. Can I make up for my missed shift? I think I'm gonna be able to just, phew. <laughs> Even though I missed a shift because of being distracted by everything that's going on. I mean, that's fairly logical. This is a significantly lighter car. There must be a couple of hundred kilos, you know, 500 or something pounds between the two of them um, overall. And the horsepower is never going to make up for that. And this is just a weapon. As we know, this thing is very, very, very quick. Oh, I'm not quite sure what they said over the radios, but roll racing is obviously massively more in this favor i suspect it's going to be three and three of three and he's had three of three on the uh drags and it's going to be a tie which is going to be it is what it is <laughs> nobody wants to draw too competitive for that but we'll give it one more go and see exactly what happens Bear out around the back get ready to turn around 
let's get it up to 40. There we go, and go. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, man. God, past 120, dude. That thing just goes. Goodness, it's kind of even. He's pulling away a little bit, but at 120, it just goes. Okay, once you're moving, it just shows you the characteristics of cars, how much difference it makes, how they're set up. You know, all-wheel drive is so much quicker off the line. The dig that it gets from a standstill just absolutely decimates. The thing just absolutely runs away. Yeah. <laughs> when you get to triple digits, this thing, poof, off it goes. And I guess if you could keep going, it would just get more and more. But this is... <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty awesome, to be honest, to see the difference. The three drags, all for the E63. The three rolls, all for the GT Black Series. Different cars, different purposes, different abilities, different setups. It's amazing to see. It's amazing to just to experience that life. We all know it, but when you do drag races like this, there are so many factors involved as well. The unfamiliarity with the location, the technique, the system, the launch points, and just being in the car and obviously having to shift it and get it all right is also a key factor yeah, at the end of the day. Well, that was cool. <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. Isn't it amazing the difference between them though? Like all wheel drive and extra power off the line, you've just got it. You've I got mean, every time. Completely. This car just demolished it from a dig. Yeah. But then as soon as we did the roll race, dude, at like 100, 120, you don't just walk away, you run away. <laughs> it is ridiculous watching it, seriously. That's, that's the difference between lighter weight and supercar, right? I wonder how much the gearbox does, because you've got a nine-speed auto and the GT Black has a seven-speed DCT. That's true, yeah. I'm sure that has a little, the ratios and things will have a little impact in how all of this works. But, I mean, two completely different AMGs, two epic AMGs built for completely different purposes, despite the fact that they both have engines that come from a falter back, are both built, like, on the line. It, it, I don't know that. I thought that was really, really interesting. Oh, dude, it was amazing. Like I was, just, I was hoping that we would get it off the line better, but like, yeah. you know, to really see the speed, that thing just took off, dude, like a rocket ship. I need warmer, t warmer temps to, <laughs> to get the grip down. I also need to play around a little bit more. I can adjust the RPM slightly, but clearly not enough um, to launch that. Maybe if I just did a kind of soft launch and just press the throttle. And... For sure. Well, I mean, there's so much to do now. Like, like yeah. you can change the RPMs. There's like to really wrap your head around it. You got to spend a whole day just launching the car. I'm yeah. just understanding like, all the different things you can do to, <laughs> to it. To get it right. For sure. That's been epic, though. I think we've got to call it a draw, though. For, yeah, I think it's a draw. I think it's good. <laughs> it's literally a it's... draw. You won every dig. I won every roll. These two cars are both fabulous. Lots of love for AMGs. Thank you for the racing. Thank you for it's coming, man. Mega. Appreciate it. Great to see you guys. Go check out the channel, Triple F, if you'd like to find out loads more of what's going on here and other cars from the collection. Well, Jordan's given me the key for a moment, so I'm taking this E63S for a run because... It would be wrong not to experience a little bit of what this thing can offer. It's been a while since I drove an E63. So, into drive. Let's go out the wrong way. Let's go have a little experience with this. Because this is the thing, I've put it straight into Sport Plus just by instinct, but if you're in comfort, it's so chill and calm and smooth and easy. And yeah, I mean, just like that, simples. If you go the other way, in Sport Plus, or actually let's just drop it straight to race. Oh wow! Wow! Okay, you feel that. That is a serious kick. I almost wasn't expecting it. Just took me a little bit by surprise there. Spin it round. Point it back in this direction. And just wait for it, and then it kicks in. When it kicks in, it takes off. Wow. That's actually really, I mean, we knew it would be really, really fast. And what you have to remember is this is a car you can have five people in, a load of stuff, a load of luggage, cruise a long distance, and it can still do that. And it can still blast like that down a runway. Let me just come around here and line it up for a second and just do one race start because it would be wrong not to, right? So we are in race. I'm actually gonna do the soft suspension trick. Then it's simple. Foot on the throttle on the brake. Race start, go. Wow. Okay.
okay, yeah, but this is where, 100 miles an hour, I can feel it doesn't pull anywhere nearly as hard as the GT Black Series. Off the line though, <laughs> absolutely silly. This is a beast of a daily. Jordan has an absolutely mega, 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 mega daily. Hey, modified to a thousand horsepower, right? Got the radios and things in here. Those shift sounds are awesome as well. What a cool car. What a cool pair. Let me go park this up and have some final thoughts. Well, those were some mega races. Probably went the way that we expected them to in the sense that the E63S absolutely wins off the line. The GT Black Series absolutely wins on the roll race. But that's one of the fascinating things, right? As I've said, cars like this do different purposes, do different things, do it in very different ways. You know, this isn't a car that's built for drag racing. Technically, neither of them are cars that are built for drag racing. Both have significantly more power than the standard. 120 horsepower, 370 horsepower. Think about that big 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 numbers in terms of the upgrades in the e63s and both currently running cooling fans to cool them back down even though as i said it's not that warm it has warmed up a little bit this afternoon but you know what still that was a lot of fun so it's a big thanks to jordan and the team from the triple f collection for letting me come along today to race this down the drag strip here at the triple f raceway and you know what if you're into cars like this check exclusive car registry the amg gt black series is up on ecr if you'd like to see the cars around the world and the different colors that people have gone for there are a few that were factory painted in individual colors mine was of course a respray after the fact but it's fun to see all of them and some of the other shmi reveals all over on exclusive car registry for today though that is all thank you very much for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i appreciate your support an awful lot and i'll see you again very soon cheers